Okay, SJ, what are we talking about this week? <laughs> well, Matt, this week we're talking about funnels. A sales funnel. <laughs> I'm only laughing <laughs> because I think it's a terrible word, but it's very important. Your sales funnel is the process by which your visitors become clients. Okay, so online marketing research suggests that about 1% of your website visitors will become actual paying clients. How many inquiries do you get a month, SJ? About 10, 15 a week, about 50 a month. So 50? <laughs> yeah, I wow. actually was getting 50 a week in January, February time, but that's like, that was just in the rush. On a normal okay. month, 50, so it's going 50. Okay, so if we work with SJ's crazy <laughs> numbers, um, we're talking around 1%, we're talking 5,000 visitors a month, that, does that sound That about? is actually, Sounds I get roughly 5,000 visitors to, sure. the month, uh, to the website. So if we're looking to convert maybe 1% to 2% and we want them to be ideal clients, then we need to make sure that that top of the sales funnel is as big as possible with as many people pouring in. And that just means that they're hearing about your business. Uh, research shows that on average people need to hear about your business seven separate times before they confidently become clients themselves. So how do we practically make the top of the funnel as big as possible? Funnel. <laughs> funnel. <laughs> it's, really, it's really important not to rely on a single source um, or, or two of marketing yeah. traffic. It's really important to diversify what we do. You, in fact, you'll hear people say, oh, you should be looking at SEO as your primary source of marketing. Mm. And whilst it's true SEO is fantastic, it's actually just as important to be going out and making friends with other businesses, with other photographers, and actually increasing that marketing mix as broad as possible. The other th part of this is that it's really important if something is working really well now, and it sometimes is, it's important not to rely on that solely and put all our eggs in one basket. We want to diversify our marketing. Because there's a lot of options out there and you may be missing a source that's mm. going to give you even more of your ideal client. So it's about being creative and we want to help you to be as creative as possible, to have different ideas. You may come up with an idea that no one's ever thought of before and it absolutely propels your business to the next level and that's what we want to be able to help you to do. So this month the worksheet is going to be really important. That that's yeah. where it's going to get practical. Yeah. That's where it's going to make a difference for your business. So make sure you keep an eye on your inbox for that worksheet. Make sure you do it. We're excited to see where it takes you. Thanks for joining us this month, guys. Um, don't forget to join the Facebook group and look out for that worksheet. And we will see you next month. Bye. Bye. <laughs>